Purcell. This is my husband, Rick, and Hello. we're from HealTeachLove.org. And if this is your first time here, I'll give you a little background. Um, my husband and I started healing about five or six five, years five, ago. Five, five, yeah. um, Rick uh, merged with uh, Creator Energy and uh, the white light. He saw the white light and uh, he merged with that and he became a healer. I started getting downloads of the information and uh, he, I see inside the body. Rick actually has the energy going to you and healing you. And I can actually, I actually get the downloaded information and see inside your body as he is healing you. Um, I scan somebody by looking at them and then devil get the Correct. We can see, we, um, I get the information of past lives um, and a lot of other information or if somebody comes through, oh. I channel the information for you. But in this instance, uh, we just do healing. Um, and uh, we partnered up a couple of years ago with Philip to do these free webinars uh, to assist people when COVID started uh, because of uh, you know, people who needed assistance uh, with uh, illnesses. Um, and then we have Phil, who we can now take over with his information. I will do. I, I have bought a new mic, by the way, but my son stole it, so I have to use my old system. Uh, I started healing over 50 years ago now. I'm a walk-in. Uh, my, my body died at birth for about four minutes, so I haven't got... Uh, I can still remember before I was born, basically. Uh, I started healing at five-year-old. Uh, animals at, at the beginning, uh, seven or eight, I used to connect to the earth, could talk to the oh, I could sing to the earth. At 10 and 11, I started doing warrior work, and that's my start, my spiritual path. I got credited spiritual healing 20 years ago, and also crystal healing. I also do a lot of dark work, so it's all good fun, and I had an awakening about two, three years ago. And currently, my head is absolutely buzzing, so I'm not sure what the energies are doing today. But uh, it's been great fun. It's been great fun working with uh, Devon. And every time we come on, is is a new experience for yes. us. Yeah, That's true. It's yeah. Very, very true. Although we do these web these webinars for free, we do appreciate any donations if possible. If if uh, if uh, you can do it, we appreciate it. Um, since we we are retired and on social security. We appreciate it. And I've got my oracle cards. I give one out every time I do an healing. So. All right. So let us begin. Um, if you need healing, uh, please put on, in the chat uh, that you would like healing. And we will begin. Let's see. First it's person Sophie. is... Leanna says... I didn't do that. Oh, Sophie, you're here to do that? Yeah, Leanna. Uh, first, she, she's... um. With like a scan in her eyes. Thank you. You have to unmute yourself. Um, now you can uh, listen. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Okay. Ileana Esparza, thank you for your wonderful work. I was here maybe, I think so the last year I was in this meeting and I have a little ball here close to my eye in the corner. And I feel terrible because everybody had big deal and I feel bad because I had just a little thing here. <laughs> I ask him to you, what is that? And now I have two, one here and one here. And I remember the last time uh, you told me was energy, somebody who was walking to the light and stopped and tried to have like a travel with me here close to my eyes. And you work with me with uh, Archangel Michael. So now I don't know what's happened. I use many drops to take care of that. And I pray the same angel, but didn't came, came out. Do you feel drained a lot, by the way? You feel very tired in the morning when you wake up? Mm, no, no, really. Okay, just close your eyes. And, well, actually, keep, keep them open. Do they feel like they're, they're, they've got water in them? Are they hard? Do, do they feel hard or do they feel like they have water in them, those, those lumps? No, I don't feel anything. Do, no, do the bumps feel like they have water in them? Uh, or are they hard? A hard. The first time they have a little water and a little bowl and the water is dropped, it's uh, dry. 
And right now they have a small, but they still are there. I use uh, different kind of drops and now it's just hard, the little bowl. Yeah, there's cysts, there's cysts. Did you try squeezing them? No. To put hot water on them, washcloth with hot water. Okay. And then when they then try to squeeze them, they should go away. Just, um, they're like, um, they're like a pimple, like a, but like a, they have, um, do you know what a cyst is? No. Boil. Like a boil, like a boil. Oh, okay. okay. They've got, um, they've got like a pus inside, but they, they just need to be, they need to be squeezed. But oh. if you put hot water on them, they will soften them a little bit and then you, you should be able to squeeze it out. But I don't want you to do it until they, they soften. Um, okay. And I it's something that you, it's some kind of makeup that you used on your eyes that did it. It's, it's okay. something, it's, it was something in your makeup on, on your brush or your, your, it, okay. it that. Um, like it's some kind of bacteria. Or something? It was, yes. Okay. And, mm -hmm. and it got in, into your, into I one of your eyelashes. Okay. And, and that's what did it. Okay. So it's like, you know, like when you get a pimple on your skin. It's the same oh, thing, same okay. thing, but only there it clogged it up. So now you have to wear, put some warm or hot, as, as warm or as hot as you can and bring it to a head so that you can pop it. That's all it is. Okay, okay, thank you. And I, and I have one question is, I am in the process of divorce and my husband is, have terrible attitude. I don't have the money who have a lawyer. He has one and I can sleep. So it's like a, a terrible heart for me now. I, yeah. I really don't know what, what way I can take it. Can, can I just say something like that? These cysts and these things, it's no real negative energy, but your uh, vibration is creating them. You're creating these. You're you're lowering your vibration, so you're actually these are part of what because of the worry. You've got to okay. try. You've got to try and get your power back and be strong with it because it, the worry is actually making you slightly okay. ill, but it can make you a lot worse. Okay. Okay. When you're because he has a lawyer and you don't have a lawyer, <clears throat> what's the worst that can happen? Ah. Uh... He can take advantage to sell the house, try to sell the house. And uh, because he always say, you don't have the money to defend yourself. So I work with one organization to try to help me, but still I don't have representation. He take advantage of every economic things. I don't know the, the way he thinks. He tried to kill myself with the economic things. And sometimes I try to get out of here um, but sometimes I feel like a, it's not uh, it's not right. It isn't right. But um, <clears throat> do you have family? My son. He doesn't but, live with me. Is it his son too? Uh, no, no, no. Okay. I don't have family with him. Okay. Uh, the the reason I try to have the house is because I have my office in the house and I work in here. So he tried to find a way to kill every economic, cut every economic thing I, I have. He's a very and, bitter man. Yes. And he has two faces. Oh, I'm very sick. Help me. And I did that all the time. And when he feel better, he show different face. So I'm happy I can talk with him anymore because the organization helped me with that. I don't answer anything. And, but I don't know how, how I can defend myself. I don't know, hi. I don't know where you're at in the world, but here's the thing is this, because one or two people are not able to help you, it does not prevent you from keep on asking and reaching out. There is somebody, an organization, et cetera, that are out there that can help you or direct you. Keep on asking, please. Don't yeah. take- where, where are you? In Houston. You're in Houston, oh, Texas. In there, there's lots of help up there. Oh <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I talk with five organization. Four of them tell me I didn't qualify because they take the information of the house. 
but he's not living here. So some mix of the information and he has a very good income. I don't, I work for myself. I am self-employer because I take care of somebody who was sick and disabled. So that was my fault. <laughs> That's not your fault. No, everything I do it is right, but look like and now everything is bad or look bad or something. Is he American? Yes. Mm. I he also he's big manipulation of everything. I am disabled, I am veteran, I am white, I am American, so everybody take care of him. Yeah. And also I did it all the time. So now is the situation is a mess. I working for myself. I try to do it this. But all the bills was one year and a half back of me. And he signed some papers who say, I don't have money and it's just a lie. He gambled everywhere and spent the money somewhere, but it's okay, it's his money. But I like to take my own situation, but every, all, all the debits are against of me. It's look like everything I did it, look bad now. And I just have depression for three, four months because First, I can't believe that. And I can see another side of the story. And I just sometimes think, good, good, be good. Not always is okay. That is just a question. Some of the organizations told me you didn't qualify because the income of the house doesn't show that. But he doesn't live here. And he lied and signed papers. Everything is uh, grown. I can do it everything on the right side because I have proof of everything. But the situation is I don't have representation yet. And the situation of the house just make me nervous because I don't know if I can continue to be here or not. And the energy of the place is good. I started working, the customers are come back because I was almost one year take care of him the hospital, emergency room, take care of everything many times. Unless one year I can work. And that situation now is back on me because I didn't have income, but nobody understands what I did it. But it's a big deal, but yes. Well, I, who's, I who's, who's, whose name is the house in? It's the mortgage in his name, but the title in, is in both names. Sometimes I, I like to ask him if it will be better if I get out of the house sell that and do it whatever we need to do, split whatever we have, or try to have the house because the energy of the house is good and I work, I have my job here. That is why. You're going to be getting people giving you different pieces of advice. My suggestion, don't listen to a lot of us, including myself. Whoops, sorry for the screeching there. Um, th there's got to be a pro bono lawyer. Yeah. Right. I understand when you when, you know, like regarding the house, there's income, there's revenue in the house. Yes. But that revenue is not your revenue. It's not his revenue. It's your guy's revenue. And right now you're going through this divorce. There's somebody out there. I can feel it. Uh -huh. And and I'm going to ask you as difficult as it is because you're in it. We're on the outside. OK, but you're enmeshed into it all that ugliness. My, I want you to remember who you are from the inside. Don't give your power away. Don't okay. give your power away. Because if you're focused on him, you're, fo you're giving your power away because of what he's doing or not doing. Okay. Focus on you. And excuse me for saying this, but fuck him and fuck everybody else. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Because the monkey, the, the, the hamster wheel goes and goes and goes. And I'm not taking anything away from you what you're going through. What, what I'm asking you to do is when that monkeyness and that craziness starts up, try to step back as much as you can, take a couple of breaths. Mm -hmm. And this is my thing. I look at what's in my control, what is not. Are you responsible for his behavior, conduct, attitude, arrogance, et cetera, et cetera? Absolutely not. You're only responsible for yourself. So stay in your true integrity within you. Stay focused there. Stay in your heart space, please. Okay. 
And what I would, okay, I know you don't know me, but uh, if you reach out to me afterwards through Messenger, I would love to gift you my healing music. I'm a soulful guitarist and I'm going to gift you my music and listen to it and just get lost in it. It's there to help you. You're, you're actually, you know what, when you really think about it, you're doing an incredible, amazing job with everything you're going through. I would say, give yourself a little pat on the back for everything you've done. You've done a fantastic job and you know that deep inside, but no one has said to you, you're doing a good job. Thank you. What is your name? My name is Ernestine. Oh, thank you. Phil, Phil and Deb know how to get hold of me. Thank you. Thank you. Now, as I was saying before, like what you were saying then, Ernestine, your, your vibration is in fear. It's fear of what's going to happen in the future. It's probably a bit of anger. It's a very low vibration. It will, you're, you're adding for failure, staying in that vibration. You lift your vibration and then you attract success. So get rid of the fear part. Whatever happens, happens. But take hold of your power. Be strong with it. Okay. Yeah, be strong. Uh, else, anything else? Yeah, your heart chakra needs nourishing. We'll, we'll give you some healing on your heart chakra. If you can help. Anything else? Uh, have you got anything, Deb? Can I just say, I would listen to Louise Hayes because um, one thing on one of her videos, she says when you have a lot of eye problem, it's because you can't see your future. You, you worry about the future. So what happens affects your eyes first. So you have to do affirmations um, for... Um, you know, so you're positive about the future and it improves your eyes. Just a note. Okay. Thank you. This is what's coming to me as well, because the word is coming to be conscious of your own thoughts. Be conscious always, of your own thoughts. Always, because yes. what you say is what you get. What, what you, you think. think. What you I'm, I'm gonna, You, you what manifest. You manifest you what you think. So you're manifesting failure at the moment. What and worry is a failure. It's, it's making you go lower. Bonkers. Yeah. So, you know, focus on all the things you have to be grateful for and let the rest of it go right now. Don't focus on him and what's happening. Focus on all the good things that are going on in your life and, and be great, grateful for all the good things and let the rest of it work itself out right now. Don't, don't focus on it. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're actually focusing on at the moment that he's got lots of money, he's got lots of lawyers. I can't win. That is in your mindset. You got to change that. You got to really change that mindset. Forget about what he's got. Forget about his lawyers. Do a plan. 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 You're at the moment not even thinking or planning. You've got to get on top of it and, and go forward. Mm-hmm. Can, Can I get, share uh, an example? of um, a situation where someone has to sue someone because of um, they have no money. In China, there was a river, a village, and this huge factory was poisoning the river and fishes are dying. And you know the whole village had, had to survive, but they're not able to survive. And a lot of people, this village is suffering because of this, um, this plant. And so this one guy who doesn't know um, who doesn't know, uh, who ha- doesn't have much education, but he spent almost 20 years going to the library. He can't afford to go to school and study law. He went to the library and studied, read books. And he, you know, he finally was able to educate himself and represent his village. And he went to court to sue that, um, to sue that plant. And he won the battle. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is from someone who had no experience with law or anything, who barely knows how to read Chinese and, you know, who had the will and the desire, you know, yeah. to do something right. Yeah. So what you should do is, you know, people can give you all sorts of advice, but what you should do is really trust, n- not in yourself, because right now you can't trust yourself. Trust in source, trust in the divine. Just trust that everything will be, We'll do it. What, 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 everything will just go with the flow. Don't go against it. Just go with the flow. When you trust in the divine, 
miracles happen. Things happen. You're going to have people knocking at your door. You're going to meet someone who's going to give you the right information that you need. You're going to meet the people that matters. Just trust. Okay. Thank you. Good luck uh, there. Yeah. One other thing is when you do have this, when a worry overwhelmed you, go for a walk near a stream, in a forest, ground this energy out of the way, get rid of it. Best way, you know, instead of dwelling in your house, worrying, giving all the furniture you worry, all this energy is negative. Go for a walk, enjoy the country, enjoy a stream, a park or anything like that. Get rid of it. Okay. And as I, I, I suggest, Deb, if we give us some energy to get rid of this emotions and help your heart chakra uh, ground or any worry that you've got at the moment, should we do that? Do mm -hmm. mm. you feel that? Mm -hmm. To the right side. Mm -hmm. Yellow energy, emotions, getting rid of your, helping your emotions, getting into your heart chakra. Do you want an oracle card for advice from the angels? Probably Ariel. Do you want a card? Do you want, a, you want an oracle card? Yes. They stop. Stop. You got two. <laughs> I don't know which one's which. There you go. Two first. Mm. Serenity. And, hey, I, said it, I said it right. <laughs> <laughs> and se self-acceptance. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, that's self acceptance. That's what we were all talking about. You've got, you are far difficult on yourself. Start loving yourself as well. Stop being so serious. Yeah. Peace of mind is within you. It's okay. you that needs to, yeah. Let go of your troubles. Let okay. it all go. Perfect. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Victoria next. A scan for her and Bobby. Okay, Victoria. Hello, everyone. Yeah, how, how are you at the moment? You haven't been uh, texting me at half past four in the morning. I'm scared to text you at four because I always <laughs> somehow get the wrong time. I always check too. I had to do so many transportations, um, really heavy one. Uh, a batch came in. I don't know if I sent it to you, but I can send that. Do you guys, do you guys have any experience with seeing attachments literally catching in on camera? Because I have that. And I'm not sure if that's an attachment or whether it's, a, no, it's a physical att attachment versus a spiritual attachment. I think it's the same. Oh, what? <laughs> It'd be the same thing. The same thing. thing. Yeah, same thing. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. well, one person is dead and one person is alive. So it's still an attachment, right? Um, okay. What's an alive attachment? What are you talking about? I'll show you. Mm. I can get that picture. How can you have an alive attachment? Let me find it. Would, I don't know if that person's I, alive I, or dead. I'm trying to work it out, though. Yeah. <laughs> I just happened to have it, and I... That would be like your father showing himself to you. Like I said, things happen to me that are really different than other people. No, I mean, that's that would be like somebody that's walking around the street, uh, suddenly gluing himself to you. Is that what you're talking about? I... The person doesn't look dead, so okay. I don't know. Where'd you see him? I had it, and I uh, had to find a picture. Just to this, okay, yeah, is today, on. wait a minute, Victoria, is today show and tell or healing? Healing. <laughs> Let's do this healing. We should we'll do have to set, We'll have to set up a show and tell day. <laughs> oh, I have a lot to show then. The show day. <laughs> All right, so let's do healing. Do you have something going on with your knees? Not so much. You're talking about the right knee? I'm talking about the right knee. Uh, a while ago. Behind it. And your back, back of your knee. Back of my knee. That right knee is the one I almost tore uh, just because my energy, my foot gate was open and I had it in there too long. And I almost tore that ligament that year. Wait, wait, hold on. What's going on with the knee? But then what happened was when I was walking my dog um, a while ago, it relapsed and something happened. It pulled and then, the, then it fixed itself afterwards. So there's something in your, in your knees, there's something there. It might've been an implant or something because it happened outside. Well, that's what I'm wondering. Something in both your knees, behind the knees. I had a, a lot of dark energies I had to try and smooth that came to me. Shh. Those are really odd. You don't feel these things? Not on the knees. Do you feel anything in your heart? I, I've been having a lot of my, my flames going up, the threefold flames and... You don't feel an implant in your heart? 
I felt something brushing against my the back of me um, those few days. And um, like I said, those things are were attaching to me. Okay. I actually did feel something in the heart just just a, a moment ago, but that I think is recent. I didn't feel that there. All right, you've got three implants or three, yeah, three implants or one in behind each knee and one in your heart. Is there a tracker? Should be a tracker. I had a, a the tracker's behind the is in the neck now. It's not in your foot anymore. Yeah, it moved. Yeah. I just felt that heart um having a pull um literally during this session so something came in and did it just recent well that's interesting mm. i've never seen anything like these the galactics are at work archangel michael talking to you phil not yet what i'm getting victoria why don't you become your true self you block so much energy that you have you're so powerful yeah yeah, I, I think these are just siphoning energy. But you've got miles where you could burn it out yourself. I know. I've been I've been burning so much, been transmuting yeah. so much of the the darkness that I get from you know who. There's a non but you don't do it for yourself. You just, do not do it for yourself. Just the send problem, it away. Just burn it away. By it thinking. is burning. That's why my heart flames are going up, and my sevenfold flames is not yeah. active anymore. It's just a threefold going. Because it's hard for me to keep my vibration like very high when I have the galactics coming at me and I have the dem demonics and I have, you know, the human part of it coming at me. Just heavy. But they wouldn't come at you if you were high, at a high enough vibration. They just keep they coming. They can't. They can't. They can't touch you if you're at, at the vibration you should be. They can't. <sighs> it's coming through him. Sir, you can I to, just... You have, to, you, you have to, to your vibration first before you can help him do you understand that you shouldn't be lowering yourself to help him you should be doing it from up here mm. help him so instead of sacrificing yourself do you understand this is what i'm getting from archangel michael mm -hmm. you're doing it from down here rather than from up here mm -hmm. you keep lowering yourself oh, oh i'm trying to raising it back up a little bit this but, you, getting but, you're, but you're helping him without raising yourself you're doing the wrong way you're ass backward back ass word mm. Hi, Victoria. Um, can I just jump in and just um, uh, send you some uh, guiding and messages of what's coming through for me to help? Sure. Yeah. Um, so I feel that no matter what dimension that we were in, whether we're feeling low, 3, 4D, 5D, we we are bound to still be attacked. It, it depends and re, uh, on the intentions of others that what they're trying to do to us so speaking from experience is what helps me to protect myself and my shielding is blessing myself with uh, blessed holy water and uh, blessed anointing olive oil now sometimes uh, before I used to get attacked actually through dreams and physically they come through a tear aura so if you have a tear in your aura it's most likely that uh, you're giving them an opportunity to enter your field now it's very important to seal your chakras and protect your shield what I do is shield myself with golden white light uh, shielding and energy around my field so protecting your field um, is a good step now, I don't know you, but all I can say is if you feel that these attacks are coming through within, uh, then it's something that's obviously attached to your cords like an octopus. Now, you need to learn to detach and cut these cords. Anything negative vibration, you need to let go. Now, if it's coming from outside, what helps with me is I go to the beach, I go swimming in the ocean and get sea uh, healing. If you have a bath, then put some Himalayan salt or anything that can help to remove those unwanted and heavy sticky energies. Everything is energy. So I would say, you know, obviously try not to lower any more vibration Anything that lowers vibration can be alcohol, drugs, depression, sad music, anything that is obviously low vibration to weaken your aura. 
Now you need to learn how to yeah. seal these chakras and then raise your vibration to the highest crystalline templates. But, but really Mother, connect Mother, right? She's gone. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so. I don't know why. <laughs> she just went. But anyway. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Me or Valerie. Mm -hmm. over here. yeah. Um, Victoria is um, a very high, high vibrational being. Um, and she's not utilizing her. Uh, well, anyway, we've known Valerie. Uh, we've known uh, Victoria for a very long time. Okay. So yeah. Well, I'm just, I'm just giving my uh -huh. my advice and my guidance. Um, nothing to do with right yeah. or wrong. It's just yeah. from my experience on how to help. I understand. I mean, Thank you. Yeah, and obviously I'm here for a reason. I'm not. I'm not just coming here to spy. I'm here to heal and just assist. And it's up to them to listen and to actually you know go within and uh sometimes it may be unclean spirits that's you're really attacking those um you know beings who who don't want to listen or i don't know what it is but it's obviously a spiritual attack that we're all going through yeah, yeah. but Mom, thank you for your ba ba valerie most of the spiritual attack is from uh up and above it we, we attack the ones around her and that yeah. lowers the vibration by worry and then she gets attacked so that's how yeah, we're doing. Exactly. That's how As, we're doing. We do it around the people around you. Yeah, yeah. of course. I, I've been yeah. through it all my life. I mean, I've been a target since I was five years old. So I know very well about astral attacks, physical. So as above, so below, you know, obviously we have guides and angels and here to protect us, but it doesn't mean that whatever is happening up there is not happening what's down here. So we need to learn the alchemy and the universal laws of balance and understanding how energy works as well. But yeah, I'm sending you guys all, lots of love. Um, I've got to go. So uh, all the best and um, yeah, sending all my praise from my end. Yeah, Bali, yeah, thanks. I think it could be a, thank you for, for that info. It, it's, uh, yeah, it is good. Uh, thank you, Valerie, a, thank you so much. That's okay, have a beautiful day, take care. Thank you. It was nice meeting you. It's uh -huh. Ernest Stein. Ernest Stein. I hope you join again. I don't even and know what she looks like. Victoria. Hi. Sorry about that. It's fried. Yeah. Yeah. Valerie was just saying it because your vibration, you you go into lower vibrations, you get an attack because of probably the worry of of uh, Bobby, mainly Bobby. So, but all them, all all everything that's connected now is got been removed. Is everyone going? Shall oh, I yeah. go? Shall I go? <laughs> no, yes. it's, it's still frying, but um, yeah, please do. Did you see what? Did you see what I was talking about, though, Phil? Yeah, I, I went into him. Uh, I, I merged with uh, my dragon aspect, and we had some fire bombing destruction. So, but if you were higher vibration, you would. It'd be very hard for him to attack you. What happens is you lower your vibration, you thin your aura field, and they can get it. Uh, find find the reason why they're getting it. So yeah. Were you able to um, check out Bobby? No, we were busy with you, lady. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. It's just sad. Um. Do you do you want to see? I found a picture. Do you want to see what I'm talking about? Go on. The attack. Go on. There. This is the lady behind, and the other dark mage. Well, you can do Victoria. Just send it to me in depth. Just send the picture to uh to us. So I'm just wondering if they were, you know, can one person be alive and do something like that, or they are dead? Yeah, they can. Bad? Yeah, they can. That's what I. It's sorry. like an astro projection, but yeah, you can, for good or bad. All right, All right. is Bobby there? Uh, are we Bobby. done with Victoria? We're not done with this Victoria yet. I mean, oh. uh, well, I've cleared everything that was connected by. I haven't cleared the implants. My vibration was actually increasing these last few days. It just went yeah. down because, you know, I told that what was going on earlier. Yes. It does every time. Every again, time. It, again, back, back ass word is not the way to do it, which is why you got these implants. Mm -hmm. Phil, Phil went in and destroyed the other end. I didn't know those implants can shift around like that so fast. We done instantly. I'm, I'm done, Phil. Are you? Yeah, everything's clear now. Okay. Uh, yeah. You should feel a lot different. Yeah, she frozen. Uh, I don't yeah. know about frozen. A voice isn't <clears throat> a picture is. 
<laughs> I've been trying to try to find that the device is really bad these past few days. So I'm actually lucky that I was able to get along. He's here. Come here, baby. We can see him. He's still uh Victoria. He's frozen. Yeah. We'll have to come back. Okay. If we can do a uh, an Istin. Uh Victoria's back, by the way. There you see him. Craig. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Just carry on with Bobby. He's a bit tired at the moment, lacking a bit of energy. Just put the picture on him. Put the picture, picture on him again. No, just lower the, the camera. I mean, the, the screen. That's all. It was a little warm, so I can't walk him outside. And he, can't, he doesn't get his energy as much. I walked him yesterday. He was collapsing outside because of the, you know, the, the summer heat. And I noticed that every time the galactics come in, you know, the G-R-E-Y, he tend to, something happens to him. I think they mess with him. Did a little healing in his bladder. And uh... I'm just giving him some energy. He just needed energy. So he has no um, choking devices or implants? Don't no. see any. Don't see any he, at all. He could do with walks at a better time, not when it's out, like in the evening or in the early morning. Even in the, even, mm. I tried doing it like at 10 to 11 even, and, you know, he doesn't do too well. Especially like, um, yeah, I, yesterday I walked the other time, I told you he collapsed outside because it was like this sidewalk had no shade and he had to go through that and then, you know, he couldn't There's no it. grass, no grass around? Well, it's half grass. So that he chews where he wants to go and the sidewalk may not be very big, but it was like no shade at all. No grass. <clears throat> you st say stop and I'll get, get a card in. Mm. For you. Is this for Bobby or for me? Oh, please. All right. Both of you. Um, okay. Two cards. See the baby? Body care and the ones retreat. Yeah. Retreat. What does retreat mean? What do you think it means? Retreat. retreat. Just you need a break on your journey to slow down to recoup energy. Well, I think that might not be. Well, yeah. Problem. I've been transmitting so much, it's not even funny. Yeah. I've been taking a lot. It's just like, because I carry the chaos energy that, you know, I, that's what I do. I have uh, to absorb it in, but then it's also hard to bring it back up. It's and, really weird. Go on. And, and take care of your physical body, your 3D body, or your 4D or 5D, but your physical body, take care of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bobby yeah, seems I, fine. He's just about, quite a bit drained. But, um, what's causing him to keep having like, almost like seizure, like he just goes, he shakes his body and stuff and, you know, does goes on his side and almost like collapse. And what what causes are those things messing with him and just like messing with him uh, and just uh, how old is he? He's fourteen. Yeah, he's getting on a bit. He's getting so, on. And, and you're trying to manifest that eight other beings are doing it. Where that goes? Well, no, I actually saw see them sometimes when they're here yeah. and when he's doing that. I actually see them. If you were power, so, if you were powered up, they'd go. Yeah. Actually, when I was powered up, they still come. So I don't understand that. Mm -hmm. They just seem to really, they don't just, they don't give me a break ever since. Mm. Keep putting that out there. Mm. You know why? Because, you know, you know, I have my spaces and my platform that I write on and I actually post light, just of light and stuff like that. And I don't even know, maybe I should change that and not post, you know, certain content. But I, I'm, I'm feeling that it need to be out. But maybe I should step back and not get too involved because it's a polarized light what I'm doing for, you know, for the situation that I'm in. Have you ever energized your out, out at your own with your power? Just close your eyes and just put your hands out and just feel that your own own is you with white light. Have you ever done that? I've, I've done that. I've done every time I did shielding, it would always be the white, the gold, the silver, the platinum including reflecting mirrors, including the life essence of Terra. So I used everything, everything in, in, my, in my shield, but yet they still manage to get into my field. It's less now, it's less now, but yeah. they still manage, I still see them come in. Just bring in your power more, energize you. Don't, don't be worried about what this or that could be doing. And just text me at four in the morning if you want. <laughs> uh, I mean, seriously, um, in terms of what I'm posting, the contents outside, I, I do so. I, I send out a lot of love, and the love frequency really gets to people. It's too much love, but um, 
should I be refraining from from um, revealing too much light in my content? I'd have a, a, a few days off and then a few days off. Yeah, they seem to, when I talked about Atlantis, got attacked. So I'm wondering mm -hmm. if it's just the content I am doing, you know. You, you, you know, know, do you know, Victoria, no beings attack me apart from once. I have had once this year because mm -hmm. they're afraid of me, simply afraid of me. So they don't go near me. I've learned that over 50 years, that you're too powerful and you could sort them out. Maybe. They don't go near you. They just don't go near you. <laughs> Apart from when they try to kill me once. But well, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> just one. Well, I had a many attempts on mine. All right. Thank you so much, Will. All right. Yeah. We have people waiting. Let's let's move on. Love yeah. you, Victoria. Yeah. Love you. Nice. Bye-bye. Ernestine's next, please. First of all, like I want to say hi, Sophie. Hi, hi. Whoops, sorry for that. Twist my head. So, hey, Mr. Ernestine. Rick, you. Uh, I got to not turn my head. My There's feedback coming back. It's at my end. I thought it was me. No, 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 no. Well, you know, you are feedback, <laughs> but not the screeching. Uh, yeah. I'm legendary with feedback. <laughs> <laughs> Are you excited? You're getting to leave soon, right? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm leaving in 10 days, actually. Yeah, 10 days for Solar Art Our Kansas. <laughs> yeah. Mall, sorry, I, I got to do this. Mulberry Mountain in Arkansas. <laughs> Just, <laughs> yeah, I'm actually very excited. Very excited. I just drove through Arkan Arkansas. Oh, did you? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Go. yeah. We're doing a healing, I'm assuming. And oh, yeah, I'm with with me, I mister. Just, don't you dare. You sit next to me, bro. Forget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have this weird thing that, um, that happens in my left ear. And it's the weirdest thing because all of a sudden it's like literally like liquids flowing out of it. And it's so much that it, it's to wet my pillow. It usually mm -hmm. happens during the night. Are you a swimmer? No. I am a swimmer, but not that way. <laughs> Sorry, I could not resist. Oh. So you're not swimming, but you're having liquid coming out of your ear. You, you have changed and uh, energy wise this year. So I wonder if it's anything to do with that. Yeah, this lot. has been going. This year has been on and off for the last five to seven years. Nothing to do with that, then. No, no. Left ear. Pardon? Left ear. Left ear. Did, you, did the Ascendant Masters put something in your ear? An implant? No. Yeah. Because I know that the Masters at a certain level, some people will be receiving um, an auditory implant. And that might affect the, um, um, you know, the flow of the ear. Do you have sinus condition? Yeah, I would say so. You have, chronic, you have chronic sinusitis? N never been... No, I would say no. That comes and goes like well, seasonal. Yeah. Seasonal. I would say seasonal. Yes, but have you always had seasonal sinus problems? I, you know, I honestly can't answer that. I have to go really sit with that. But I've noticed it more so lately. I, I can tell you that you have chronic sinusitis because it happens every year. So this is a sinus drainage. Yes, it all is connected. Yep. Yeah, ears, nose, throat. Um, so if it's not coming out of your nose, it's going to come out of your ears. Yeah, it's usually either or. <laughs> it's funny you're saying that. And I go, it's either or. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm going to make a real big recommendation for you. Before okay. you get on that plane, yeah. make a decongestant. You may sleep the trip away, but you're going to need it because when you go up, it's going to hurt. When you come down, it's going to hurt even more if you don't take that decongestion. Because your ears are going to hurt. As that makes perfect sense. I will get a decongestion. Because I have the same thing. Do you really? Yes. I've had it since I was three years old. You have the same thing I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> I have chronic sinusitis. Yeah. And, it's, and it gets worse in certain parts of the country. It's, a, it's much better here than it was in the East Coast or near the near water where it gets humidity, where you live, Yeah. where you have the seasons. 
the yeah. four seasons. I we don't have four seasons really technically here. Well, we don't really get four seasons where I am either. We are literally exactly the same as Seattle. Well, you have a lot of rain and humidity. Well, that's the worst stuff for it. Yeah. So you have allergies <laughs> and mold. Ernestine, I've tried to do something with that. So let us know yeah. if it improves. Yeah. Uh, Deb will probably ask me for hers one day. <laughs> yeah, I might. Yeah, I've I have uh, Meniere's disease now. Mm -hmm. I, I they diagnosed it in 1994, and living in Arizona, I have never had another vertigo attack from it. Meniere's <laughs> disease happens to men usually. Well, I, I was living in Florida at low pressure, um, the barometric pressure. It, I would have been deaf. Now, well, now I think I'm fine. But um, living in, in Arizona, you don't have that barometric pressure where it's constantly up and down with the, with the um, tropical weather. Mm -hmm. It's the worst place to live in Florida. So I'm, I'm just about deaf in this year. Well, I know my hearing is not what it used to be. That's for darn sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, the sinus and the infections. And I had ear infections when I was a kid. They're terrible. Did you have ear infections? When not that I was, not that I'm aware of. No, you probably don't remember. I do. <laughs> yeah, well, we're going to, Philip just doing it as I'm discussing all these things with her and all the things that I can see in her ears. I can see. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. It's, a, it's, if it's not coming here, it's going, it's going into your ear tubes and it's coming out your ears. So, yeah. So it's looking for an escape route. Well, it has to. Yep. Yeah, it makes perfect sense what you just said, because, and what really, I'll put it this way, I've seen a specialist, and just saw him twice recently, and he, ears, nose, throat specialist, and he didn't connect what was going on. No figure. That's, That's why I was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a riot. Yeah. Okay. So I will definitely get that and have myself a dose yeah, as I get on, definitely. As I... You don't because what will happen is if you have any any type of um, sinus issues when you go up in a plane, it, it will it go just... right into your ears and it causes such pain when you're flying, going up and down. You know, because of the pressure, it hurts. It, hurts. And it won't hurt when when you take a decongestant; it dries it all up. So when you're when you're flying, it won't you won't feel it like it. So both ways, make sure you take one with you. Take it with you. I, I definitely will take it with me. I'm, I'm going to have a wonderful sleep flying to Arkansas. <laughs> Actually, I think we go to Dallas and then on another plane to go to Little Rock and then drive. Okay. Well, that what you said, everything you said just makes perfect sense because I'm going like, there's something wrong. And it's just like, because when it, like, it's, it's weird, just really weird. The fact that left ear just drains and it's only my left ear. Yeah. But it all makes sense now. Yeah. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. You, you're a card, Ernestine. By, by the way, I've tried to reprogram your brain so it helps. Okay. I always think it's something wrong with the brain with my things like that. Can I just say stop? Stop. Uh, we got this serenity card out today. Uh, you got that? Yep. Peace, peace of mind is within you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. Next, we got for me to be me, a lady. I don't know her name. It's a very strange Bonnie. name. Is that your real name? It's Barney. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Yeah. I don't know about y'all, but I just started overheating like about five minutes ago. Oh. Apologies, that'll probably be me. You're just hot stuff, Bonnie. You little rascal. <laughs> I'll be here. I mean, I'm like sweating. So am I. Yeah, I see you did the same thing I did. It's like... What are you doing, Kelly? Lord have mercy. Between the two of you, I'm not so sure. Three of you. Ooh. I just, I'm good. Um, I just had my daughter's birthday last night, so I, I've got kids sleeping and recovering. Oh, wait. And uh, I feel good. I feel good. And I haven't joined one of these. Like, I've just jumped in. I thought, well, why not? But, yeah. But you go. I'm sitting. <laughs> so, how are you doing? Okay. So, Bonnie. Let's see what's going on with you, dear. Having back issues? Yeah. Yeah, I was picking that up. Yeah. The lower in my uh, ovaries, but I've been working with. They just started getting sore again yesterday. Your ovaries? 
Or your back. Mainly my left one and my back. It's all of that. Well, your ovaries, you have cysts. Yeah. Put your hand up through your thing. <laughs> Um, you have a last soul in your on one of your ovaries. You have I, do you have aching shoulders as well? Um, no, just mainly uh, stress from my current situation. You have a lost soul, so a dead person attached to one of your ovaries. A lost soul attached there. Her name is Bridget. So when she died, she never crossed over. She wandered and then she jumped in onto you. She saw your light. She saw your light. So what I'm going to do is, um, Kelly, honey, can you mute for a moment? Thanks, sweetie. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to send her to the light. So I have uh, Mary Magdalene here with me. She's going to assist. So what I'm doing is um, we're telepathically talking. That, so I'm, I'm not, um, that's why you hear silence. So I'm explaining to Bridget that uh, when she saw your light, she has the same light inside her heart chakra as a, as a, as a, um, a God spark. Deb, can I just say one thing before we go on? Your back injury is a past life. It's an horse. You, were, you got an injury on an horse and you died very, very painfully. So I'll clear that. Well, Deb clears the lost soul. Okay. Yeah, I uh, fell off a roof. Mm. No, he's saying a past life. You, yes, um, in a past a life, roof? I fell off. A oh, okay. You yeah. also fell off a horse. I, I got no. What he's saying. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where that goes, but <laughs> I'm, I'm still just as dangerous. I still take those type of risks. <laughs> <laughs> so if you fell off a horse and you fell off a roof, so you've really screwed up your back a few times. That's not including this past life. You mean this current life? Yes, that's what I mean. <laughs> not in you. you I, I kept wanting to pass yet. it off. It's like, just pass it off already. Now, I had a near fatal accident when I was 26, and that. Archangel Michael said. But I didn't have surgery. Archangel Michael said, slow down. Slow, slow your roll. <laughs> is that why I'm getting put in timeout? Yes. He said, is that how they say it? Slow your roll? What I got was timeout. I've been in timeout for two days. Well, a few days on and off. <laughs> Back to Bridget. You may feel something in your ovaries as, as she's removing herself. I just heard something pop in my back. So I wasn't, it wasn't okay. painful. Well, you know, she's um, removing all of herself, all of her pieces that she's clung to. So part of your back pain was her. They do. Yeah. You know, Deb, I can actually feel it in my hands to feel mm -hmm. the spirit around me yeah it's so weird yeah the uh i've got in your timeline and i'm trying to repair your soul fragment from that from your past lives all right Brid bridget's gone to the light she's gone to where she belongs to now we're going to do repairs on your um ovaries and your from the inside of your back and your ovaries okay uh, all yeah. right all right. I'm, yeah, past I'm, life's done. I've done life. All right. We're just sealing up her um, work fields. And you're done. How do you feel? Much fluid, like high. And I haven't smoked weed in a long time. That's how I feel right now. Like, that was weird. That's good. Well, it's not weird. I'm grateful. Very grateful. Good. Yes, yeah, still. Yeah, so just contact us once a week and we'll give you your weed. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> what? Contact us once a week and we'll give you your weed. That is it. <laughs> your feeling. Please. Your feeling. <laughs> you want a card? You feel I'm a draw card for yeah. you. I'm, I'm sure it's it financial. <laughs> so it's um, been a challenge. Just say stop. 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 There you go. Please. Self acceptance. I think that's a good card, though. If you're too fat, you're difficult for yourself, start loving yourself more. Start going on weed now and again. That's a joke. It's a joke before I get taken down. <laughs> Second card is actually dreams. You dream I can't see that card. It's Ellie. what? It's self-acceptance, that was. Yeah, I got self-acceptance. I thought you said something green. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I, I got dreams as well. I'm, I'm oh, dreams. You know. Yeah. 
I thought you said greens. I'm like, I'm eating plenty of them, I promise. (laughs) Sorry. It's my accent. You be Kelly, uh, Kelly you, pulled a card for you too. What did it say, Kelly? Mine was very vivid. I've been having them. What was it, Kelly? Seek counsel. So seek high counsel. Seek advise high counsel. Really? Well, that, that's probably really Kelly. Yeah, that's probably you, right. That's probably in line with the dreams. That means you're getting <laughs> me- messages in your dreams. You just got to remember them. You getting exactly, signs. And I've been writing them all down because it's been really, really interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Self-defeat card. Come on. <laughs> Come Kelly, on. you're breaking you're breaking up, babe. <laughs> what, what's that card? You what got this. Card? Hmm? I know my breaking. service is not the best, Alan. Yeah, what was that last card? Uh so it's just saying that she's to like release, stop self-doubting, stop doing the self-destruction, still just some repetitive patterns, and to a seek advice from counsel. So hi counsel. So go to one of the masters that you know, or you know, like just in yourself, like channeling to yourself, you know, Bonnie, we've sat together. I'm sort of better on one-on-one, but we'll just do it anyway. We'll get with this. Um, so, Bonnie, um, the only guy, the only information I was given, so I've done the release that I could do to help assist as well, um, and it was just to seek your highest counsel. So, again, your highest counsel may not be mine, so you know your own guidance better than I do. So just go on through and find your highest counsel. There's a there's an answer in there. They've got a message for you. Um, it's regarding your self sabotage. So if you can just like sit with yourself with that for a moment, it won't take very long. Maybe like five minutes or something. Just sit with yourself and just ask why there's that self sabotage still there a little bit. It's just still coming up in the cards, Bonnie. Residual. I think it's just your boundaries. Again. So just very, the boundaries again. Very similar Remember, cards. Hard really. boundaries. Yeah. <laughs> Kelly, I'm just saying they're very similar cards there. Self-acceptance is very, very similar. But the dreams, write them all down. Collective. So they, they, they've been very uh, active for three weeks. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, you have passage. You have smooth passage. So just so you've got smooth passage, just cruise on through, just lean into that, ask why, and then flow into it. You know, find it, heal it. Seal it. You got this. Just lean into it there, Bonnie. You're just so close. It's like right there. It's right there. Doing good. Great. Great. Thank you. Who's next? Thank you. Okay, next we have Libby. Libby? Yeah. Hi, Libby. Hi. Hi. Hello. I wanted to see if I have any attachments today. That's why I'm here. What, you want some, did you say? (laughs) No. I've had plenty. I think I ran them off. I want to be sure. Libby, there's something in the back of your neck, uh, bottom of your spine, and in your right foot. Really? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. My right foot, which does not hurt. Well, it wouldn't hurt. It's just a tracker. Uh-oh. Damn it. See, Phil, I told you I had a tracker two weeks, uh, a week ago, and you mm-hmm. told me this was coming up. Today was coming up. There you go. How do I get rid of it? Well, we do that. We do that. Thank you. Thank you. I forgot about that. Yeah, I, did, I, I already. What Deb just said is exactly like, enough. What I said. There's something in her hip. Um, it's her left hip. I've been in a lot of pain towards, working in the garden. It's on the left hip uh, towards the. It's on the bone. It's right. It's on almost at the top of the thigh. Uh, it, Deb, is it? A, uh, spiritual power. it's something there it's gotta be causing her a lot of pain it looks it feeding it's a feeder feeder yeah so what you might get a bit warm now <clears throat> how are you feeling Libby? nauseous hmm? nauseous, nauseous. yes yeah, that does you can do that when you're getting rid of a parasite uh yeah there's a little bit of a battle went on you you were connected to some beings yes i was I was with my son, Chase, last week. I have not seen him since last April, okay? And when I went to his new house, that's really old. So this is the first time I've seen him since then. And I saw a being, it was, he was carrying it on his back, stepped off his back and into me. Mm. Very pointed teeth, and he was dripping blood out of his mouth. He got inside of me. Go to the light of the Holy One creator of all that is. And he disappeared. Mm. And I, that was last 
Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday. And so what is today? Today's Saturday. So it's a week and a half ago. We were at the beach together. And so I got in the ocean, like you were saying to someone else earlier. And I did flips and everything. And I my body really well in the ocean. I did everything I knew to do. Why do I still have it? What am I missing? What am I doing wrong? You're not doing anything wrong. Oh, good. You're not. This is happening to a lot of light workers. This is their last. There. This is. Yeah. This yeah. is their last yeah. hurrah. They are tr- throwing everything they can at light workers. So this is not your fault. What that is. Okay. Yeah. You know, the uh, it problem is it the it problem? Uh, the parasite's gone, but it had been eating your cartridge, creating the pain. So I've tried mm-hmm. to repair your car, you know, the muscle tissue in, in yeah. your head. I've tried to repair that. Um, okay. At Norseus would have probably been the parasite getting killed and you know, dying. No, the physical parasite goes in. Go on, Phil. It feels so pleasant. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, it, d- dominate it, by the way. <laughs> I'm hard of hearing. What? And my, my, his, my, his, my, his dragon <laughs> ate it. Oh, thank you. I dragged it out. Uh, he fired it and then he ate it. So he likes he likes it. Smoke grill. <laughs> that brings him a good. <laughs> yeah, and that might be the north. That might be why he feels it. So, yeah, but I've also tried to repair it as well because it damaged it quite a lot. Because these little parrot spiritual parasites they feed to create the pain and the negativity, and they like that energy, but they can do a lot of damage. How long have you had it, by the way? Since last Wednesday. Right, so it might have been on board whatever you were sending to the light it might have been you know, these beings can have these sort of things around them if you get what i mean yeah. say that again please phil these beings that you you see that the nasties the, the dark beings can have parasites on them and one one linked up to you then one went on to you uh-huh so yeah. one went on to you yeah yeah it's one of the nastiest ones i've ever seen yeah ruined my trip yeah, think of it as experience. Yeah, that's how I look at it. Bad or good or bad experience. Yeah. And yeah, you, you, the uh, answer gone now. Thank you. you want a card? Yes, please. Huh? Yes. And... Oh, sorry. I'll do it again. I thought okay. you said. <laughs> I actually stopped when you said yes, please. Do it again. Yeah, so I wouldn't mind. Okay, stop. Yeah, there you go. I, I'm doing everyone too today. I'm implied to do it. Sign, music. Signs and mu- music. So this, let's do the signs. The signs. You've asked for help, so follow the signs. Yeah. And music. After more, if you want to get grounded in your life, listen to meditation and music more, especially after what you've just gone through. Meditation and music. I was telling Deb that I wanted music in my so life. I and I seven cards, sweetie. Yeah. Um, can't hear. It's frozen now. Who, me? Libby. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Send me, hi. Shoot me off a message on Messenger and I'll gift you my music. Aw. Uh, Ernestine, what's, what's your last name? Day, D A Y. Say that again. Day, D A Y. Day. Day is in. As in yeah. every day. Day. <laughs> day is in night. <laughs> Couldn't be more plain. I can't hear Christine Day. You'll love her music. Thank you. I'm grateful. Rick, did you read me? Yeah, we did. Yes, yes. we did. Oh, yes. yes. I'm not carrying dead bodies today, just dead uh, gremlins. No, we, <laughs> we, we, we scanned. How do you think, uh, how do you think we knew that you have the implants and the, oh, yeah, the, yeah, oh, yeah. It, <laughs> Oh, yeah. And the tractor. That scares me. Does that mean that I'm still being I'm still being abducted? No. no. A tractor? I don't know what a tractor is. It's so they know you're there. So if, if someone they like know- us get rid of the implants, they can they know where you are. And so they can put more implants. So you oh. remove the tractor. Everything's gone. Everything. Yeah. I just am asking am, am I still being abducted? Because we removed one before and now we got another one right but yeah. everybody's getting them it's not you're not the only one that's getting them okay that's it. and it's picked up a lot and, and as soon as you get your vibration high enough they can't touch you so re- 
focus on your vibration, raising your vibration, not fear. If you go into fear, you're feeding them. Remember that. Yes, I do remember that. So it's your vibration that you focus on, not fear and not going into anything to be afraid of. What can they do? Nothing. Right. Right. So focus on raising your vibration. Got it. I wrote it down from someone else. I knew I needed that. Thank you. You're welcome. Great. Stay, stay in love. Focus on your heart and vibration. That's all we have to do. And remember that you, you, when you do that, you affect everybody around you. You raise everybody else's vibration. So that's how you're helping humanity. Yeah. Great. Did K- Kelly have some cards for you? I did. <laughs> Here you go on then. I did. Hang on. I'll flip it around again. Bear with me. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I got it. Um, I pulled seven cards, uh, sweetie. The first card was the Wheel of Fortune, which is normally indicates unfolding fate. Um, the second card was instability. Uh, so work on your stability, stay grounded, uh, be really aware of how you're feeling in any one moment, be present. Uh, don't be the fool. So warned not to be the fool. To zero yourself also, so grounding again. To change the view in yourself, Um, So with this upgrade and with these removal of the implants, you should now change the view of yourself, being very firm. Uh, You've been warned or cautioned, so don't use your energies for anything malevolent. Uh, Be very clear about what you're doing, so be very present. Uh, Be aware that if your energies are being manipulated to correct that as soon as possible. Uh, You have been advised to take spiritual retreat. This card here says to take solitude or retreat, uh, but that you are ready and strong. So just keep moving forward. Being very aware and present is my message. That's pretty good card. Thank you kindly. Thanks, Kelly. Thank you. Thanks so much. Okay. Um, Next, Deb, uh, there was a person, but I think she's gone. Yeah, yeah. Michelle Muller, she said about a past life. She was anged, but I'm not sure if it was, I've got, because she's gone. I got this vision when I saw her. She's been hanged in a previous life, and it's all to do with uh, pirates and witchcraft. But I've got uh, uh, so I'll give her the message of that. Yeah, yeah, because she's gone offline, Michelle. Bye. 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 <laughs> We're here, yeah. and we need a few. We need healing for a few people today, though. Okay. okay. Um, it's actually for my mum and dad. I just got the photo. Funnily enough, I can't find the. Uh, the latest albums. I'm just going to show you. This is their wedding photo. It's a long time ago. It doesn't matter to their energy. Okay. It, it, it doesn't matter yeah. if they're baby pictures. With, with right. Really. Yes. Mm-hmm. Could you see my dad? I yeah. see him. Yeah. What's yeah. his name? His name is Nana Segaram. Um, he's in hospital at the moment, and I was wondering if I could get some healing for him, please. Can you tip it forward just a little? So I'm not. It's there. We go. That's right. That's good. Right where it is. Oh, What's actually wrong with him at the moment? Um, he's in Sri Lanka and um, he's apparently got a high fever. Mm. Uh, he's probably got some infection and I haven't got a lot more information other than that. So when I spoke to them last night, they were um, the doctors were looking at him. So I'll find out more today. It's obviously it's it's linked to what we were talking about. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Makes sense because it's really important because I from what I'm I, I'm getting as a diagnosis for him. They both, they both have um, had it. Tattoo. Yeah, he's got backache as well. Yes. Yeah. I'm trying to upgrade his uh, immune system a bit, but thank you. Oh, I also feel headaches. He's getting headaches. Oh. Right. I've, 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 I can't even say the word. I've sorted it anyway. He had an implant as well. He had everything. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. It's all it's so weird, better now. There's a lot. And then um, I don't want to, do, I, I'd, I'd rather talk to you later about it. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So could we please do some scanning for my mum too? Sure. Sure. Into it. Just, I've just done the work on there as well. Oh, okay. About, do you want a scanner? Yeah. I've, done yeah. all, I've done all the work, so it's probably better than what she was. Okay. Could this young lady get a little bit of boost from you, Phil? Yeah. You're not feeling well? Uh, she just woke up with a bit of cold today. Mm. She, has she had the lollipop or not? 
No, 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 did you feel anything? She's very really gifted. Yeah. But, uh, connected to the angelics. But she, I can't, oh, yeah. I can't actually say what the gift is. She's got to find yes. that one. Yeah. No, I want to help that with her. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Very Did gifted. You Did you feel that energy? She can usually sense things. She can usually yeah. feel it. Intuition, definitely. She's could... done some feeling on me as well. <laughs> You know, I was, I, I was said, oh, she's got, I was going to say what she's, and they said, no, you can't. She's got to oh. find that. She's got to find that journey. So. Yeah, so, she already, she already knows she's yeah. an angel. Yeah. <laughs> Both kids know what they are. I'm a jester. <laughs> <laughs> right, say stop. I'm going to say stop, please. Stop. Please stop. Actually, I'll give you two. Ah, you got trust and you got guardian angels. Oh. So, so remember, life's just a lot of lessons. Just trust in yourself. And you've, you've got the backing of a guardian angel behind you. So, so they're always there. The guardian angel will always protect you. Be like, Thank you, Phil. Thank you so much. Well, if, you don't, if, if you don't mind, you wanna, do you want to stay um, behind until we're done? Do you mind? I'll, just go. I'll do it, yeah. I'll do it. Okay, thanks. I don't think it would be too much fun. Yeah, wait, have you got any cards? You might, I might as well say. Yeah, um, so very similar. So I was guided as I was doing that reading uh, just to do a cleanse with the water, uh, a bit of sound clearing, and then just to get in the reading properly. And then I had my three angels come and say she's one of the crew. So uh, <laughs> that was pretty cool. And then the cards I pulled, well, the first one was this one here, which is Unaltered Harmony Peace. Uh, validation of views, courage, like it's a really good card to pull. It shows that you're in the right path, you're going the right way. The second card was the star card, which is that you found your inner light. This little one well and truly knows that she is who she is and is standing in her power. So it's a very beautiful reading. Super grateful and honoured to be able to have sat with you and uh, to, to be with you in this now moment. I did send some healing to your father, um, just that uh, he be at peace in this now moment. Sorry. And everyone, gratitude. Thank you. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Kelly. Someone can go over me if you want to. Just I run could, over. I could feel that. <laughs> That's why I said it. <laughs> Last night. Come on. <laughs> I'll, I'll send you some healing and Deb, and Deb can scan you. Okay. I'd be happy to. Uh, Rick scans. I just do. I just see what Father shows me. You may feel some energy going in your lower region of your female organs and your um, bladder and your. We feel some warmth. Little small amount, yeah. Yeah, but I, I mean, there might that, just be a small cord there. I think I'm just feeling. Yeah. Do you have any problems in your neck now and again? Uh, I did have cancer, but it's uh, since been healed. So yeah, yeah. there's a little yeah. scarring. Room. Yeah, that's uh, a, that's what I was looking at. Scar tissue, yeah. Seven babies will do that. <laughs> You're also getting healing in your intestines, both the large and the small. It's going there. Can I have someone just check in between the wings, please? Just at the back. It's one spot I can't really reach. Just thought I might have a hitchhiker. <laughs> yeah. Your whole back is lit up right now. Cross your hips, cross your hips and down your legs as well. Phil, I know yeah. I've got you. Heavy. Can you just in between my wings, like about the base of my neck, I've got like a small, I think I've had a hitchhiker drop something just in between my wings and I can't yeah. grab it. Can you see that? I was, I was picking, I was picking, I was picking some, oh, I also had stomach pain from you, but I was picking some up then. Uh, I don't actually know what it is. I'll get rid of it. It's really small, like it's, I can feel it there. Like a seed. I'm being told yeah. it's like, like a seed. It looks like t a horns. You got it? I can't get it out. I can't yeah. reach it. Like a like a hook, like horns or a hook. Yeah, but, but, but I think it's a seed as well, Deb. I think it can grow if you get what I mean. But I'm 
It's getting, well, we're getting it. Is it a child seed or is it like, I thought maybe it was a child seed, but I don't think it is. I think it's mimicking. We often do, don't we? Yeah, that's good. That's good, guys. Thank you. It was what I thought it was. Yeah, sources just clarified that. Yeah, I'm yeah. good. You're so gifted, aren't you? Thank you. <laughs> you guys are amazing. Thank you. Do, do you know? I just could feel it. Yeah. Like, it it, like, it kind of looked like, like it looked like a hook, but it, it wasn't like a, a um person or anything. It was just like this thing coming out. I, I was told it, it was like, like a seed. Hmm? Yeah, it felt like a child seed, so I'd left it there. And then like yeah. I was like, a mimic. This is like playing me. This is not cool. Yeah. Like, they mother like they're like oh she'll look after me <laughs> yeah i'm on to you <laughs> yeah well, it looked like somebody was going to start something there though yeah yeah a seed that's what i was like is this like actually like because i've had that it's only just the last three days i noticed i was like okay so is this like because sometimes my kids like they'll hitch a ride you know what i mean like they'll yeah. like jump on and they'll hitch a ride and i'm like i'm good with that you know but this just felt like it was drawing at the same time. And I'm like, that's normally not how it is. Like when I've, mm. my kids know how to balance their energy pretty well. So normally if I'm giving them a lift, you know, it's like pretty crazy. Like I'm not really, you know, I don't feel the balance sway or anything like that. But this yeah. one, I could just feel a pull. And I was like, I couldn't really understand like whether they were trying to anchor me or what they were trying to do. So that's why I was like, you guys, can you just like feel into that and see if I was correct? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. It, it, well, I've never seen anything like that before. Though. I've seen a lot of stuff in my life and I've never seen that. They try every different angle, don't they? Yeah, and as you get stronger, like as your vibration raises, um, I find that they tend to trickier with the way in which they approach us. So because we start to know the telltale signs of these signatures, so their patterns, their algorithm, as they start to approach us, uh, we will see significant patterns mm -hmm. with these entities, specific said entities. And so when we can recognise them very clearly, that's when they start getting really tricky and trying to find these ways in which we won't recognise when they come into yeah. our field. Or, or if we slip up, they, they try everything, like opportunists. Yeah. yeah. And like people have said to me, do you not get healing? I said, no, I'm human. I'm exactly like you. I'm, I might be an energetic being working here, but I still have a human body and I still get distracted and, and uh, you know, I still, I'm still human. So, yeah, yeah, I still have things like everyone else where if you adopt the mentality that you're done, you're finished, then yeah. you will be like instantaneously that will come across as stagnancy. And so having that teacher-student mentality, always stepping in with the openness that, Yes, there is a possibility that you may not have cleared yourself 100%. Uh, even just when I've worked with, like I did those three three people beforehand, it's possible that one of those that I was removing was like, <laughs> I'm going to hit a ride. So it's like that. So be very, very cautious about your mm -hmm. signature. Yeah, we say like as healers, as masters, as energy workers, whatever it might be, know thyself so know thy signature if there's anything that doesn't feel right when you're bouncing your energetics and you can feel it get rid of it like and if you can't mm. ask someone help. there's no shame in asking for help i say that <laughs> exactly i i had another healer that actually said that all my organs got like reef material on them to protect them because they know that they're under attack so i've actually got shielding around all my major organs which is good i, say I don't mind <laughs> I said after 8,972 reincarnations, I'm pretty well on to everyone. <laughs> yeah. You, 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 I have been told you've got I'm more. Sorry. Yeah, I've been told you got more coming. you got some more knowledge coming. So don't show what that is. Well, <laughs> hmm? Yeah, I told you I was to do seven, a term of 7,000. Uh, and to, to, to my knowledge, uh, I've done 8,972 reincarnations and I was told that I would fulfil my purpose mission in this lifetime and that I would rejoin with Source. So, and I'm pretty content with that. Yeah, let's go back. <laughs> yeah. I, I, had to, I, I, I had to actually change one of my, because obviously it's 12 parts, the old, the old oversoul, and I had to change one of my lives to get here. 
I had to die early in another one to get here. <laughs> so I wasn't impressed with that. And I was on Andromeda. The longest I did, 777 years in Egypt. That was cool. Um, wow. And so, yeah, coming back, coming back to this timeline, that was my most recent. Um, so there was around a, a about a 1,620 year gap between reincarnations. And so, yeah, coming through, pretty cool. Um, really different uh, observations and, and the timelines are just absolutely phenomenal, the way they're swinging into play and everything's yeah. really smooth. Like for me, it feels really smooth. So what others are seeing as being chaotic or not, uh, not right or that you know whatever they might perceive it as for me I see the time capsules running smoothly and I see everything running as it should be.